This video is an update to one that we released uh, a few months ago, um, which is now a little bit out of date as Bubble have changed things on their end. Um, uh, and it's going to show you how that even on the personal plan, uh, you can run daily workflows. You could even run hourly workflows with this workaround. Um, so we're going to demonstrate how to uh, set up the workflow and then set up a service such as cronjob.org uh, that will uh, make contact with the uh, API endpoint and that will trigger the workflow. Um, so uh, first up, uh, let's check everything's knowledge in Bubble. Uh, you need to have an API enabled uh, workflow API and backend workflows if you haven't already. Um, that allows you to, from the pages menu, uh, right at the bottom you can go into backend workflows and uh, you can tell you're in backend workflows because there's no design, it's all backend. Um, and we can click here and we can go new API workflow. Uh, so I'm just going to name this one uh, demo2. And uh, we have to expose it as public. This is not something we're just using internally. We need an external service to be able to make contact. Uh, and then we're going to set it to detect requested data. We're not actually sending any important data. The most important thing is, is that the request is sent. Uh, and that allows us to schedule it using a service like... Uh, cronjob.org. Uh, and uh, if you have ever done anything with WordPress, you might be familiar with uh, cronjobs. And uh, the <laughs> it, it basically is a way of scheduling an activity uh, to take place on a website. And, and this is a site which lets you say, uh, we would like you to, to basically make contact with a service over a set period of time, anything from every minute to every hour, every day, every month, etc. Uh, so Back into uh, WordPress, we're going to go detect data, and this gives us our trigger. And so I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go and create a Chrome job. Uh, and uh, so this is called demo2. I'm going to paste in the uh, URL that Bubble has provided me. Uh, here's where you can set all your settings, anything from a specific day of the month to every day at a certain time. Uh, you can really um, be quite specific uh, with when you want this to run. Um, we need to change a setting back here to post. Uh, this is the part which the uh, other video didn't address, but now Bubbles made changes and it doesn't work unless you uh, change it to post. Uh, let's just check everything else. Going to click create. Ooh, clicked on the wrong link there. I meant to edit it. Uh, and then, as long as we've got this detecting quest data uh, panel open, uh, we can send a test. And we can see there, because we've got a, um, a code four, uh, code 200 rather, uh, that means that it's worked. The request has gone through. Uh, and in fact, we can see here that a request has been received and the data is empty. Again, that doesn't matter. We just want to be able to schedule a request when we want a request uh, to uh, come through. Um, because that then means that we can put in actions here and those actions will take place when this API endpoint receives that, uh, well, that ping really from uh, chromejob.org. Um, if you wanted to run, uh, say, uh, update all your users or you know process uh, a list of data, then what I'd recommend is creating another workflow, um, and that is what you you do for your individual occurrence. So this is where you would build up what happens to one user, and then here I would go for um, running schedule API workflow on list, and then aim it at the workflow that you've created for the individual instance. And that way you can trigger an action. So you could trigger uh, a data change uh, on all of your users um, at, at midnight uh, and you could have the, the API gradually, it will go through and it will apply um, that API workflow on a list. It will apply that to each of your users. It might be quite a common use case. Um, so. Two things to wrap up, I think. Uh, we need to make an update here. Uh, so the initialize is only for testing, so we want to get rid of that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I said two things, but I meant only really one thing. So if, if I was to leave this um, as it currently is, it would run every 15 minutes uh, and it would do absolutely nothing. But you can 
really add what you want to the workflow here, of course, uh, knowing that it will action every single time that uh, the Chrome job here executes itself.